good day everyone so let's continue our next lesson about the looping counter control again so the next we still in the second step of the problem solving process which is algorithm we have done the flow chart and the ipo analysis if you have read the video about flow chart okay so now we proceed to the pseudocode Okay, let's start about our second step of problem solving, which is prepare the algorithm. Now we talk about the pseudocode, how to write the pseudocode for counter control in looping or repetition. So our problem statement for an example, which is calculate and display BMI for 75 students. For how many students? 75. Okay, 75. So we use the control structure. Looping with counter control. How are we going to start the pseudocode? Okay, good. We're going to start from the word start and stop the pseudocode. Straight away write down start and give a space and write out the stop. Okay, so the first thing we need to do for the looping with counter control. First is initialize the counter. My counter name is count. Equal to zero means I'm going to start to count from zero. So my condition will be while count less than 75. So this loop we we'll continue to repeat until number 75 because 75 less than 75 is false. Okay, the condition is false. Then when we start the loop, we have to read the input. Okay, input, read our input, which is, uh, which is the height in meter and weight in kilogram. Next, our process calculate the BMI. So weight in meter divided by height in kilogram times height in kilogram. This is a formula to calculate the BMI. Next, we have to print the BMI. Print the BMI inside the loop, which means we are going to print the BMI for 75 times. Because we are going to display the BMI for 75 students. Okay. After we do the process, we are going to update the counter. So our counter have to update count equal to count plus one count equal to count plus one so our first count is equal to zero zero plus one is one if one then we are going to repeat the one we go back to the condition we check the condition again one less than 75 so it's true then we continue to do the input process and output then continue to update the counter remember just now the counter equal to one okay very good so one plus one equal to two so we're going to check again the counter okay the counter so count just now equal to two two less than 75 is true so we continue to count Okay, to print the BMI until the counter equal to, okay, good. When the count or the counter equal to 75 means the condition is false. When false, it will stop. Okay, when false, this program will stop. Okay. If you have any questions, please refer to your lecturer. Okay, now I have to end this lesson.
Okay, see you next on next lesson. Thank you very much for your attention.